welcome to Friday Night Flights with... Uh, Dr. C, but I thought I was starting tonight. <laughs> Flora, I thought you meant who was starting with the beers, not who was introducing us. Oh. Okay, let's start over. No, Go. you did a great job. I, You're more than welcome to... Hi, she's Laura, and I'm... <laughs> Dr. C. And this is... Friday Night Flights. Volume 3, Episode 3. Here we go, we are ready to roll. Okay, so now that we're on the right path, <laughs> yes, you are starting us off with our first beer of the evening. This is a local brewery. Yeah, kind of a cool little place. Um, let's see if I can get this one here. It's called Experiment. It's here in Gardner, Kansas. It's just a guy that has lots of beers and you can bring food in and play games and drink his beers and it's a really cool little brewery yeah we like it we go there a lot um yeah. we have two beers from there tonight though that three we, that oh. we haven't tried before and one beer that we know we like um i'm curious to know which beer we haven't tried the mango sour we or, haven't tried oh i didn't know we got mango sour too okay yeah. well this is or exciting the, second beer. the first and okay. the second beer we haven't tried from there okay i apologize so the first beer is called synergy it is a mango sour i like sour beers typically i'm not a big fruit beer guy generally so so we'll see how this goes see. so i i remember when we were there this evening you asked if i wanted a sour and i was like yeah but i didn't know you got the mango sour this is so this is new we've never tried this before mm, that was not bad i get more sour than mango i definitely taste the mango she definitely gets the sour <laughs> definitely get the sour i like that though <sighs> I don't know that I would ever intentionally order that on my own. However, the mango is a nice little twist. It is a nice little twist. Yes, nice little twist for the evening. So, all right. I'm sure you'll be finishing that off. Okay. Yes. Beer number dos. Two. I'm super excited about this one. We tried a sample while we were there this evening. This is called Fission. Is that how you say that? How do you say that? Fission. Fission. Fission Lemon Meringue Milkshake IPA. Can you see that? Out of Gardner, Kansas at the Experiment Place. Experiment. 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 Um, pretty cool. 7.5% alcohol by volume. Oh, firecrackers. Okay. I guess it's a good thing we're starting off with that in the beginning. <laughs> so, okay, I get to try it. You do. Very excited. This very well might be my new favorite beer from there. I'll save you some. Thanks. It's very, very, very tasty. I have never heard of a lemon meringue milkshake. So it's interesting. It definitely has undertones of an IPA. You can tell it's an IPA, but it's very creamy. Um, you get the lemon, you get... It's very milkshakey. The meringue milkshake. Uh, I don't... This is some weird sorcery <laughs> that he used to make this beer. It's very tasty. So, as we said... I'm going to finish this because I'm sure you're going to drink the rest of that. I, I was about to get extremely disappointed by the fact that you were about to finish that. Yeah. So, let's... Why don't we... Pour another little glass of that. Okay. We've got six beers tonight. We're going to talk about the first two, which we just did. By far, out of the two of these, out of the mango sour and the lemon meringue milkshake IPA, I think we both like the IPA, the meringue milkshake, the best. So yes. again, try this. Yeah, come to Gardner, Kansas, and go to, to Experiment and try that one. That's really good. So Chris, we get to start our podcast. Yes, we're going to start our podcast this weekend. Yes. Um, first podcast available, probably two weeks. Two to three weeks. We're still trying to figure it out, but all the equipment came in. I posted several videos about that, so um, we're yeah. excited to mess around with it's, it. It's going to be the companion Friday Night Flights with Dr. C and Laura, where we get into more detail about, yes. about <laughs> beer and bullshit. Last week, we had quite the weekend, and so I imagine that'll come up in some of our conversations. I was... Grumpy. Grumpy is a nice way to put it. So, anyways, very excited about that. 
um, okay, let's wrap this up so we can start part episode. one. Episode, yeah, part one is done. done. Hello, <laughs> welcome back to part two of episode three of Friday Night Flights with L Laura, Dr. C, and Dr. C. Usually we say Dr. C and Laura, so that would throw me off a little bit. I'm trying to throw but it off a little bit. Tonight's the night to do that. Okay, we're <laughs> okay. back. Beer number three. Beer number three. So this is um, in part one and two. We talked about the little brewery here in Gardner called Experiment. Experiment. Pretty cool. It is E X Beer. So X Beer a mint. And the whole way they um, do their beer, oh, not that one. This one. It's based off of the what's this called? Periodic table. Periodic table. Thank goodness for Chris, <laughs> Doctor C, because I wouldn't be able to figure this out. Okay, so anyways, pretty cool. So this beer that we're trying right now is called Validation. This is a cream ale, and it's got all kinds of fun sayings on it, like yes, perfection, absolute, amazing, superb, definitely, all that fun stuff. So we have tried this beer previously because we like going to experiment. It's a lot of fun. I don't remember what it tastes like right this minute. So um, who's up? You are up. It's me. Okay, go. Yeah. So. When we were picking out our beers for tonight, um, we picked two that we hadn't tried before. And so I picked one that I know that we like. Yeah. Um, th this beer is just fantastic. So while he's tasting that and about to give us his, perf what the hey? That's he just really drank yummy. the whole thing. I didn't even get to try it. Um, I can pour you more. It is hot and humid here in Kansas. We are on the Kansas side tonight, uh, which I guess we are most Friday night flights. I've told you before, he's from the Missouri side and I'm from the Kansas side, but it's freaking humid. It's only 85 degrees, but I think it's a thousand and three percent. Yeah, like you can see are you the sweat. Him your boobs? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is not necessarily a kid friendly show but it is pg-13 we're well, not all right. we're not making it an r all right. <laughs> this evening PG thirteen. so validation cream ale yeah it it's just light easy to drink um i there's so my favorite cream ale is o'malley's which is out of weston that's my favorite cream ale this one is really good it's just a mild beer this is good it's still not as good as this one i favorite I, of the night so far lemon meringue milkshake ipa like i don't know if anything we should have saved that for last because i don't know if anything that i drink tonight is going to compare to that we'll just keep coming back to it <laughs> okay all right beer number four uh this is a first for um, Friday Night Flights. Um, this is a Kona Brewing, Kona Brewing Company. Kona. Called. Kona, Hen Kona, Kona. Hanale? Hanale? I don't know. For all you Hanale. Hawaiian folks out there, I'm sure you can I butchered, correct us on I'm that. I'm sure I butchered that one. <laughs> but this one is an Island IPA. Um, if you know my theory, theory on IPAs, they're not my favorite. But we'll see. <gasps> Do I it's get to you. try it? Ooh! Look at me, because I need a drink because it's hot. You know what this, okay, I'm gonna make it maybe rated R for a moment. When I taste this, it tastes like you would expect pot to taste like. Oh. That's what I think of when I taste that. <laughs> oh God, just the smell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I am actually, I'm, I'm kind of correct. I feel like I'm in a college dorm room. <laughs> mm. Would you agree? Like yeah, it, the it, flavor's not bad. It's not super overwhelmingly hoppy. Um, is that what, it, what is it that's giving it that smell? The hoppiness? It's the hoppiness. Um, it, it definitely has a stronger <laughs> IPA smell than taste. The taste really isn't bad. Uh, I would probably consider that one so far of, of our first three episodes, the different IPAs that we've tried, this is probably my favorite IPA IPA that we've tried so far. I'm not quite so sure that I personally agree with you on that call, um, but we're all entitled to our own opinions. Maybe I'm a bigger pothead than you are. <laughs> Her gummy head. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I don't know. 
All right, that wraps up. Part two. Part two of episode three. All right, stay tuned for what's next. Welcome back <laughs> to part three of episode three. Oh yeah. Sorry, I broke into a little bit of Macho Man Randy Savage I, there. I feel like that was like, um, because the last beer that we just tried in our second episode was Kona, which reminds me of the Hawaiian, which reminds me of the Samoan with their dances that they do. And so when you broke out with that, that's what it kind of reminded me of, like Jason Momoa. And who is somebody else who does those dances? Ooh, ooh, ha, ha, ooh, ooh, ha, ha. That's what it reminded me of. That's interesting, because <laughs> I went pure like WWF Macho oh, Man well, Randy Savage. Maybe it's Savage. because I don't watch WWF or even know who Randy Savage is. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's just disappointing. Okay. Hop in, because I need a drink, because it is oh, hot. Beer here. number five. All right, we're going back to Casey Beer Co. Um, that's a big one, apparently, in our little town here. <laughs> well, it's from, it's because it's from Kansas City. Kansas, Missouri. I didn't know where they were. I did not know where they were from, so forgive me, yeah, Kansas, it's Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> so, in episode one, we tried their Dunkel. We, we, we like really Dunkel. like their Dunkel. Um, tonight, we're trying their Kolsch. So, it should be a lighter beer. I don't um, even know what Kolsch is. What's it stand for? What's it mean? Anything. It's a German brewing. Non? No. Kohn style. Kohn? Kohn style gold, golden ale. Okay. What? What's that word? C-K-O-H-N. Kohn? Kohn? Kohn style. Well, you figure that I'm, out. I'm trying it. I'm, I'm going with it. Um, oh. It's light. Light. It, it's just a it's light very German light. style beer. Easy to drink, Easy. especially on a oh, hard night. A, well, on a summer night, mm -hmm. that would be that would be a light, refreshing beer for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's got some citrus notes in it, a little bit of lime, a little bit of lemon, some coriander. How do you taste all that? I don't understand. The, <laughs> I just taste it's light. The magic tongue. The ma you turned it R-rated. <laughs> um, you know what? I should have grabbed the beer. That would, This would have been perfect. Our final beer should have been a beer that we're saving for next week. But I'll give you a hint. It has a beaver on it. That would have been a perfect segue. It would have. Maybe we'll have to bring that joke back up. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Kolsch. The Casey Beerco Kolsch. Awesome. It's, it's Kolsch. It's Kolsch, dude. Oh. It's Kolsch. That's what that meant. Okay. While well, he is enjoying the rest of the Kolsch beer, we've got our sixth and final beer from the evening from the Boulevard Brewing Company, which is also another Kansas City favorite. This is the Tropic Slam Tart Island. Does that it's mean a it's sour. a sour? Is a sour. Why did I pick this one tonight? You didn't. I did. No, but I picked it out of our group to have oh. tonight. I don't know. All right. Well, you start us off. You tell us all about it. Oh, I get to go first? Yeah. On the sour? So, Tart Tropical Twist. So the only thing that worries about worries me about this one, like our first beer of the night, I love sour beers. I'm not a fruit beer guy. So This has ale with guava, pineapple, orange, and other natural flavors. Negative O? This is not a beer for me. <laughs> Let me try. This is not a beer for me. <laughs> I totally can see why. That is not a beer for me. If you like fruity. Fruit punch in a beer. I feel like that's, it says Tropic Slam. So they, I mean, they pretty much tell you you're getting the whole shabam like this. They do. Yeah. Here's some pineapple. Here's some mango. Here's a little bush <laughs> I bet this is her favorite sour beer that oh, she's tried. I don't know. It's pretty damn. <coughs> it's pretty darn tart, as it says. Tart. It's pretty tarty. My favorite sour beer ever was a Boulevard beer. It was one of their rotational beers. It was called Telltale Tart. <sighs> was it beer. a Telltale story? Well, so Edgar Allan Poe's Telltale Heart. 
was a poem. And mm -hmm. so it was a riff on that called the Telltale Tart. Oh, so good. Well, they don't have it anymore. So I've here we are. Make it back. We are wrapping up our six beer flights. You can tell we refilled some. Well, you can, we re, you can, <laughs> the last two you can tell aren't as favorite as the first ones. He actually re, did you refill that one? I've refilled the first one and the second, I've refilled the second one twice. <laughs> Probably several times, just um, in case you didn't get that. Um, I have my, refilled the fifth one once. Oh, the KC beer, Kolsch. 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 So this is by far my favorite of the entire night. That, the lemon that one meringue milkshake. Is truly a unique, very tasty, fun to drink. I Yeah, I I mean I could easily buy a six pack of that and drink one every night for six nights and enjoy it just like the first time. Did you say night. one every every, every night for six nights? Six nights. I don't know if I could do one every night for six nights, but we need to wrap this up because we are going really long, but we are will, going to go live on that's Facebook. That's right. We're going to go live on Facebook. So feel free to join us there. Yeah. Look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for joining uh, Dr. C. And Laura. And Laura on Friday Night Fights.